If you want to play your guitar in stereo, this is the perfect video for you. I'm gonna simplify it immensely. So many people are confused when it comes to stereo on guitar. They ask me, which stereo amp should I buy? What kind of Y splitter should I use? And the answer is you don't need any of that. It's way simpler than you think. So in this video, I'm gonna give you six quick tips and this is the only things you need to know to play guitar in stereo. Number one, you want two different amps, not one stereo amp. The goal of playing in stereo is to have a wider sound, a wider stereo spectrum. So it's much better to use two different amps, one on the left, one on the right and separate them a few feet apart. It doesn't matter if it's a combo amp or a head and cab or both, you want them separated. Stereo amps do exist, but to me there is no point because you're gonna plug your inputs exactly at the same place, it's gonna be in the same little box with two speaker cones super, super close together, so you won't get that wide spread that you want. So you want two different amps separated on the left and right. Number two, you don't need to use exactly the same amp, meaning if you have a Fender Blues Junior on the left, you don't need to have a Fender Blues Junior on the right, you can use different amps and it's even better if you use different amps because now you can have the tone of both of these amps at the same time and it's going to give you a fuller tone. So for example in my home studio right now I don't have the space to separate both of my amps a few feet apart, my room is just too small but I still get the advantage of having the tone of my Vox and of my other amp to get a fuller sound uh, by having both. So you don't have to purchase twice the same amp. Number three, you don't need to use a Y splitter cable. The only thing you need is just a stereo pedal that has stereo outs at the end. So on my blue sky, I have stereo ins and stereo outs. So I just need to take one cable out of the first output and put it to my first amp and one cable out of my second output and put it to my right amp, to my second amp. And the pedal itself is gonna split the signal. You don't need anything extra, any splitter extra. The pedal is gonna do it. So as far as you have two outputs on your last pedal in your chain, on your pedal board, you can simply send both cables to both of your amps and no need for a splitter. Number four, there is no point of playing in stereo if you only have mono pedals. Like I said, the goal is to have a wide spread and if you only have mono pedals, it's gonna send exactly the same signal to your left amp and your right amp. Let's say you're using a splitter at the end and you only play with mono pedals. Uh, this is not even playing in stereo. It's called playing dual mono. Why? Because both amp receives exactly the same signal. There is no difference between both signals, so you still get the advantage of having the tone of both of your amps, but you don't get any spread. That's why you want to use stereo pedal on your pedal board, stereo modulation, stereo delay, stereo reverb, so that the, the signal is different between both amps and you get the wide spectrum. So if you have, for example, ping pong delays, you can go ping, ping, ping from left to right like this, even stereo reverbs, the modulation inside of your reverb is gonna swirl between the left and right in different ways at the same time and that's gonna give you your widespread. So use stereo pedals on your board if you wanna play with uh, two amps at the same time, if not there is no point of using only mono pedals. Number five, what about phase issues? What about if I buy two amps and now they are out of phase and I don't know which amp I should buy to be in phase with the other? And like some people get paralyzed and never play in stereo because of issues that could come like this. And I'm here to tell you, just don't care about it. Buy two amps that you want 
and just play with them, there's a big chance that you won't get any uh, phase issues. And if you s do get phase issues, this is really a quick fix. You could just go into your recordings and your software and just flip the phase off one side only, or it's just a matter of just switching the wiring on one of the speakers, on one of the amp. So it's really, really easy to solve it, so you shouldn't care about phase issues when you're trying to uh, get your stereo set up. And number six, the quality of the second amp doesn't matter. Stereo is gonna be a big improvement on your setup. So when I first did it, I think that my second amp was just a cheap Marshall solid state that I bought for like a few hundred dollars new, like it's not a real solid tube amp, super expensive. This is really a cheap amp, but the fact that now you are playing in stereo, that's gonna be such a big improvement to your setup. So if you don't have a big budget, you don't need expensive amps to have a great stereo setup, you could get cheap amps in it, that's gonna give you the same effect. So there you have it, it's really not complicated. Get two different amps, play with stereo pedals, get two cables out of your stereo pedal into your two amps, and voila, you can play in stereo. No need for stereo amps or splitters or things like these. This is much simpler than you think. If you want to learn how to craft great tones on both of your amps, if you decide to have a stereo setup, I have a module on that on my free course, A Beginner's Guide to Ambient Guitar that you can get. First link in the description box. I'm showing you how I craft my clean tone and what are the settings on both of my amps and how I use my stereo pedals to get a nice spread and a, and a nice tone. So if you want to learn how to do that, once again, it's the first link below and it's totally for free. It's my gift to you for watching my video until the end. So I hope that it simplified it to you and it answered all of your stereo questions. I'm gonna see you real soon in a new video. Until next time, au revoir.